We began at 11 with a desperate search underway in Virginia Beach. Tonight, the Coast Guard continues to look for the driver of a tractor trailer that crashed through the side of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. It shut down part of the bridge for hours this afternoon. Sarah Hammond has been at Chicks Beach since that search started and brings us up to speed now with where efforts stand at this hour. Sarah. The U.S. Coast Guard has had helicopters in the air and boats in the water for hours, searching after a tractor trailer burst through the railing on the bridge and plunged into the water. They say they will have crews out here searching all night. Kane and Weaver's relaxing family trip to Chicks Beach Thursday afternoon quickly took a turn. Heard a loud crash, and as we was coming up to walk over, my sister actually first noticed that a uh, tractor trailer had went over the bridge. Around 2 p.m., traffic came to a halt on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Officials say the truck went into the water on the west side of the northbound span between Virginia Beach and the southernmost island. And then it started sinking down off the right side of the bridge. Virginia Beach Police, Fire, and the Coast Guard got in the air and on the water to find the driver. The Coast Guard confirms they are looking for one person. A spokesperson for Virginia Beach Police confirmed a good Samaritan jumped off the bridge and into the water to try to help, though officials with the CBBT say they could not confirm that report. About an hour and a half after the truck went into the water, small trees began to wash up on the beach, seemingly from the truck. James Thompson decided to go out and get them. It looked like some algae or something out there. We uh, saw a plant washed up, and I figured they were probably from the tractor trailer. He said he wants to give them new life. We get some fresh water on them. We can have some new life for the plants and maybe name them after the drivers. Weaver says he and his family are hoping for the best for the driver. I hope that he didn't make it out somewhere and sitting somewhere, but they have been looking for a long time. All lanes of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel were reopened around 7 o'clock after crews made emergency repairs to the damaged guardrail and curb. In Virginia Beach, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. And this is at least the sixth time in the last 10 years that a large truck has crashed over the side of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Here's what we know about the other incidents. Most recently, in December 2020, a box truck went off the side of the bridge. 47-year-old Eric Messick was behind the wheel. Crews didn't find his body until four months later on the Outer Banks. In 2018, two people from Delaware died when a minivan hit a tractor trailer, sending the big rig over the edge and into the bay. A year earlier, a North Carolina man died when his tractor trailer plunged off the bridge. Leaders said there were some wind restrictions on the bridge tunnel at the time. In 2016, police said a tractor trailer went through the guardrail and into the water when the driver tried to pass another vehicle. That driver survived. Finally, in 2014, a Chesapeake man died when his tractor trailer hit a construction vehicle, jackknifed, and fell into the water. Again, the Coast Guard is still searching for the driver in today's crash. Crews plan to recover the tractor trailer tomorrow.